It is my prayer that the grace of God will not elude you this day. In Jesus' name. My name is Tamilari Olabisi Ebitoe, the under shepherd of Global Light Baptist Church, Olorodaba Ibadan. Shall we pray together? Our Lord and our God, we thank you for opportunity of coming to your presence again to hear from you. I pray this morning that you will speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. I pray that the grace of God will be released afresh upon, upon us so that at the end of this day, your name will be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I'll be speaking on the topic, Trusting God's Salvation. Trusting God's Salvation. Our text is taken from the book of Psalms 55, verses 22 to 23. Psalm 55, verses 22 and 23. Cast your body on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Our golden text is verse 22 day. Cast thy body upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Our topic once again is trusting God's salvation. Trusting God's salvation. The salvation of the Lord is God's provision for everyone going through challenges of life. And the salvation of the Lord is God's provision for every lost soul. Souls that have been wandered away. Souls that is lost. Souls that does not know God. The salvation of the Lord is God's provision. Let's look at the word trusting. Trusting is a continuous word. Trusting is continuous. So it's not a matter of trusting God today. And tomorrow you go on break. Trusting the Lord is meant to continue. It is not on a part-time basis. If you want to enjoy the salvation of the Lord, trusting in Him every day, every time, for everything that has to do with your life is imperative. And I pray that as we share the word of God this day, the Lord will minister to you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is the blessing of the Lord. When the Lord releases his salvation upon your life, it is the blessing of the Lord to your life. It is breakthrough for your life. It is lifeline for your life. It is the provision of God to liberate you above the power of this world about the power that is ruling this world. So, if there is no, if we lack the salvation of the Lord in our lives, if you lack the presence of the Lord in our life, if we lack Christ, who is the giver of the salvation in our life, our life is exposed. We are naked. So, this morning, I will be sharing with you three reasons that I discovered from today's text. Number one, God wants to sustain your life. If you look at that verse 22, the Bible says, He said, Cast your body on the Lord, and it shall sustain you. It shall never permit the righteous to be moved. The Lord wants to sustain you. So it is the provision of the Lord to sustain you, to sustain you maritally, to sustain you financially, to sustain you academically. Maybe you have been struggling. 
You are doing it alone. You are not trusting in the Lord. You are trusting in your own power. You are trusting in your own strength. God is calling you this time. He said, cast your body on the Lord. God has hovered to carry your body. Why do you want to kill yourself with the body that you cannot bear? When someone has already offered himself to carry your body. So, this time, I want to challenge you. That you should respond to what God is calling you to do. Say, cast your body upon the Lord. Cast your body unto him. Take your problem to him. That is what God is saying. Are you battling with challenges of life? You are battling with challenges of marriage? Maybe you are expecting the fruit of the womb and it has not come. Cast your body on the Lord. Trust in the salvation of the Lord. Because God has provided for it. And I pray for you this that, that you will not miss the salvation of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Now, number two, God does not permit the righteous to be moved. He does not permit the righteous to be moved. He does not permit the righteous to be wandering away. He does not permit the righteous to be stranded, to be helpless. So God Almighty does not permit. He works towards making you a success to experience breakthrough to have the salvation of the Lord in your life. So I want to challenge you this morning. God is calling on you to cast your body unto him and he will sustain you. Whatever has been the need in your life, the Lord is ready to sustain your life. Are you confused? Over the decision that you want to take at the moment, the Lord said you should cast that body on the Lord. Don't continue to struggle. Don't continue to labor. The word of God says, come unto me, O ye that are labor and are heaven laden." He said, I will give you rest. God has made provision for rest. God desire for you to have peace of mind, to have rest of mind. So that is why he hovered to carry all your body. Are you sick in your body? Trust in God's salvation. Are you in debt? Trust in God's salvation. Are you going through oppression? Attack of the enemy? Trust in God's salvation. God is there for you. He wants to help you. He has over to help you. He has over to deliver you from every oppression of the enemy so that you can enjoy the salvation of the Lord. Don't struggle alone. Don't go through this problem alone. God has hovered. He said, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. When you pass through fire, he said, you will not be born. That is the promises of God for your life. Run to the Lord Jesus Christ, who has hovered to carry all your body, all your problem. Number three things I want you to note is that God is ready to fight on your behalf. He's ready to fight the battle. He's the one who will fight and you are the one that will carry the belt. You are the one that will be declared a winner. Look at verse 23. The Bible says, But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Blood testing, deceitful men shall not live out half of their day, but I will trust in you. God has hover to do what? To fight for you. The battle is of the Lord. It is not your battle. Once you have hovered your life to, to Jesus, you have given your life to him, he is the one who will be fighting for you, he is the one who will be fighting on your behalf, and you will be declared a winner in life. So the salvation of the Lord is available for you today, my brothers and sisters. All that you need to do at this moment is that hover yourself to God. 
cast your burden upon him. God does nothing except a response to your prayer. So when God is saying you should cast your body on him, he's calling on you to pray, to share your mind, to share your body with the Lord. So you don't have to be, to be holding that thought in your heart. You need to open up. You need to open up to God. And by so doing, you are casting your body on the Lord. You are releasing this to the Lord. And what will happen at the end of the day is that you will testify to the goodness of God. And that will be your testimony this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So God is ready to fight on your behalf. One thing that is required at this time is that cast your body on the Lord. And the Lord is going to fight on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? You are right. They are seated. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, the body bearer. The one that will help you to bear your body. I want you to at this time take a decision. Take a step. To give your life to Jesus Christ. And your problem will become his problem. And he will bear your body. And you will have peace of mind. It is well with your soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If this is the first time you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. I want you to say this prayer to me. Lord Jesus come into my heart. Live in my heart. Forgive me all my sin and write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Lord, I pray that you will lift everybody. You will deliver all the oppressed. Those who are sick, listening to me, you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The salvation of the Lord come into your heart right now. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Thank you for listening to the grace for today. I believe that the grace of God has been released upon you afresh. If you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe, I mean, click the subscribe uh, button and notice, I mean, notification button, click on it. Share this message with your friends with your family members, with your colleagues, and then comment. And as you do that, your life will be blessed in Jesus' name. It is well with you.